holidays are upon us, but before you put out your Christmas decorations, consider these natural alternatives. And joining us now from the Malama Learning Center to show us how to make some eco-friendly holiday creations is Malia Legasso. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Paul. So let's talk. What do we have here? What can people make to brighten their homes this Christmas? Well, what I brought as examples are some of the things that my family makes during the holiday season. This is one of the angels that my mother makes, uh, Natty Legasso, at some of the craft fairs. Some uh, smaller angels that my sister makes. A little something my nephew made. Um, these are just things that we um, go into the forest, we pick things up off the ground, we pick from the trees. Um, it really supports what Malama Learning Center does because um, we really try to make sure that we're um, using things that are natural, that we're um, really making things with our hands, uh, finding a way to use the things that people would, who would consider um, opala, you know, trash, um, and really making them into things that can be gifts, uh, decorations. We're going to do a little bit of that craft crafting right here this morning, but I wanted to ask you about some of these things. Are you looking for things that have some color, things that look a little interesting? What do you look for when you're just picking up these natural leaves and nuts? Well, a lot of things that we have here like are the Norfolk pine. Uh, I think a lot of people will be familiar with this, uh, you know, going all over the island, especially on the windward side. Um, uh, the Christmas berry tree, these red berries here. Um, you know, really looking for a contrast between uh, for instance, this brown color, which is... Just going to um, hold this up yeah, here so sure. people can get a good look at that. Uh, actually, that's upside down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, the browner color of things that are dried uh, to contrast with um, when picked fresh, you know, the, the green color of the tea leaf or the eucalyptus. Um, so, you know, that's what you look for just to find the contrast and really bring out the uh, differences in the colors that are really outside all the time. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's make something this morning. Let's get a little crafty well, I just here. wanted to show you um, just some of the handiwork that goes into the crafting because there is a lot of work, but it's good work to be put into it. Um, this is what I call a bottle wreath. It's a little something to just uh, hang on the wall, a little for decoration. So I was going to give you this. Okay. Um, you know, it's really easy just picking a couple of Norfolk needles. And um, I, I used red ribbon just so you can see it, but normally we would use raffia. Um, and so you're going to sort of twist them around, yeah, and just and just uh, hold it with one hand okay. and tie it with the other. Oh, boy, this is going to get complicated <laughs> here. Okay, go ahead and uh, uh, keep talking about uh, some, of the, some other tips that people can... Um, well, I just wanted to say that um, I'm here today also because I'm doing a workshop today for Maloma Learning Center. Okay. Um, we're really excited because it is full, so we can't take any more participants. But um, the kinds of things that Malama does and that the workshops try to do is bring together the crafting side of things, the, um, the idea of sustainability and um, culture in, uh, locally, and having the uh, participants and the uh, teachers really bring all of that together. How are you doing there, Paul? Not, not very good. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set this down. We'd, we'd like to thank you for coming in and showing us what can be made with some of these natural materials. And again, this is just one of the many programs that Malama Learning Center has yes. uh, throughout the year. So thanks for stopping in and brightening our holidays. You're